Why, hello there, everybody. It has been a hot minute since I've been doing one of these. Um, I think it's just because, you know, with school and work and exhaustion, like, I have been burnt out, so I've not been able to do anything, which kind of sucks. And illness... And I'm still pretty exhausted, I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah, I am going to rant for just a second. If you hear in the background, there are kids screaming and playing in the parking lot. <clears throat> parking lot. So, um, it's extremely dangerous for these kids to be playing. And I've already contacted my landlord about it. And my landlord's not doing shit about it. So... One time I was coming out of my car and for those of you who don't know, who don't know me in real life, um, as you can tell from my, you know, my profile picture here on YouTube, I'm gothic. And so, you know, adults don't do this so much, but the kids kind of do. One kid called me an ugly lady, which was, so I said, oh, well, that was rude, you know, and the kids and the the parents were, must have heard the kids saying that or something and came to my door and were just nothing but apologetic, which I thought it was okay. But I don't know how many times I have tried to pull out of my driveway and one, I ran late for appointments and work because of it. And two... How many kids I've almost hit in my car from running across the parking lot trying to catch a ball or um, just coming out of nowhere, which really pisses me, which really pisses me off because it's like, okay, this is a liability and we, okay. And another thing that I'm going to, that kind of pisses me off about all that too, is that we live literally up the hill from a park. There is a park if, it, mind you, these people have cars, okay? So, um, they can drive their cars to the park down the hill and let their kids run free. But they don't. They just make their kids play in the parking lot. And now that it's getting nicer out, it's gonna be a bitch. So, if you hear... The crotch goblins yelling and screaming. If you hear any of that in the background, I do apologize. I have zero control over that. And that sucks. <laughs> All right. So tonight we're going to be playing more of the Club 3DO Station Invasion. Um, I enjoyed that game when I played it the last time. So I'm like, all right, let's play it again. So uh, let me get into my 3DO thingy. I don't know why it's not working. Oh, now it decides to go. Do, 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 do. Where did it go? Okay. All right. So, like I said, we'll do this again. Not going to... We're not going to get through the beginning, not going to go through that again, not going to have that kid talk again. Use the joypad and the A button to select a show. So what select we're going to do... Or start game if there are no more players. Pick my show! So what we're going to do is do in the grounded, the Sundays of our lives, the mysteries, and sofa. Because we already did, um, what's that smell? So let's do grounded. Show. Select an empty name slot. Use the joypad and the A button. Me, me. We'll do a complete game. That looks like the home improvement house. <laughs> the new script isn't finished yet. There are words missing, sentences missing, characters missing. Do something. If I don't know my lines, we can't shoot. How about you do it yourself, you whiny little brat? All of the words on the screen are the same part of speech. 
Choose the word on the next screen that is that same part of speech. Okay, so it's an adjective. Um, why is my controller not working? Oh, I was supposed to push A, B, or C. This little screw up was nothing. You should have seen my report card. Yikes. Gee, John, it sure was an exciting week for television, don't you think? Let's look at the ratings for the week, shall we? Zero! <laughs> It's a what fart in a jar. Yeah. Oh, oh, hey, oh, you. Geez, what is that stuff? That's disgusting. <laughs> Want one more whiff? No way. I'm not going near that jar again. What is that stuff? Well, my sister works at the hospital, and she stole a gangrenous toe. That means it was decomposing right on the person's body. <laughs> They had to amputate this guy's toe, and my sister stole it. That was great! Oh what yeah, I've had to done. smell cellulitis and wounds and gangrenous wounds and stuff. Oh, this stuff is so nasty. Ugh. I work in an ER, so I know those things are gross. I'll tell you one thing, I'm glad I'm not the producer. You got some problems on your hands. Select each word requested by using the joypad and the A button. Oh, here we go. Pick a verb. Pick a verb, any verb. Let's see. Uh, flaunt. Pick an adjective. Pick Hot. a verb. Pick an adjective. Pick a noun. Pick a noun. There's not a whole lot. Billy's mom. Flaunts. Down next to him. Billy, why are you such a hot troublemaker? <laughs> oh, God! Scatters. It was just a stale pizza. A little joke. A tractor in the gym shorts is the oldest trick in the book. Oh, God! <laughs> it's not it's bad. I'm just visiting. <laughs> The ratings. Have you guys ever played Mad Libs before? <laughs> oh, I have a good time with that. They have like online ones and you can put in any word you want. And me and my sister used to do them all the time. And oh my god. And my mind's always in the gutter. I agree more, John. Let's look at a clip from one of those great shows. Hello? This is the electric company. Could you please look out your window and tell me if the street lights are on? <laughs> oh, they are? Well, don't forget to turn them off before you go to bed. <laughs> Mr. Sandusky! No way we're pranking your math teacher. Come on, it'll be fun. God, look at those old school cell phones. <laughs> Hello, is this Leo Sandusky? I'm calling from the State Lottery Association. You are the winner of this week's... B Billy Sparks? Who's Billy Sparks? I'm the guy from the lottery. I don't know what you're talking about. Y yes, yes, sir. She she's home. Yeah, but uh, can't we keep this between us, man? Okay. I'll put her on. Mom, pick up the phone. Fabulous. Betty 
Primo says she wants me to take her to the art museum for her birthday. I don't know the first thing about art. You have to help me. Teach me everything you know. But you have to do it in the next few minutes. Because I'm late to pick up Betty. Dun, dun, dun. Select two pieces to exchange using the joypad and the A button. Oh, here we Press go again. Press the C button when done. Camille Pissarro, Avenue de l'Opera. Damn it! This doesn't give me enough time to do it. <laughs> a leading impressionist, this artist helped establish the major exhibitions of this style. He was a kindly father figure to many younger artists such as Gauguin and Cezanne. Don't worry, there are worse things in life than low ratings, right? Right. Or pain. Hey, John. I don't know about you, but I just couldn't stay away from the tube this week. It was fantabulistic, don't you think? <laughs> What do you say we check out the ratings? Damn, we're failing hard. How would you like to see a clip from one of those shows? How about a scoop of Choco Choco? How about a scoop of Nick Blade? Angelica, I don't think we can be seeing each other anymore. Parsley's getting very angry with me. I hate it when she gets angry with me. Oh, Nick, Nick, Nicky boy. When are you gonna learn? Parsley doesn't matter. She's just a single scoop of vanilla on a cone. I, on the other hand, am a dish with three scoops of Fantastic Delight. Full of artificial colors and flavors. Oh, snap! <laughs> Woo! This new kid TV is a powerhouse, producing some top drawer entertainment. Don't you think, John? <laughs> to do a show where we build a time machine and then we get to go all over the country and throughout time and wreak havoc. I'm psyched! But first we gotta learn about all the places and times we're gonna go to. Since you're the producer, it's up to you to learn everything you can, then teach it to us. Cool? I guess. Use the A, B, or C button to select the correct answer. Okay, which one of the above crops is the economic savior? Oh boy, I don't know if it's tobacco or cotton. Fuck, I knew- ah. Yeah, exactly. So I took out insurance policy on my legs, just in case, you know? Hello, everyone. Boy, we came on so soon, I didn't realize. Oh well, let's just go right to the ratings for the week. And as usual, we follow the ratings chart with a clip of one of those shows. Mystery shimmers. Sh <laughs> shimmers. Have you ever noticed when you don't bring your own lunch to school, the cafeteria is serving meatloaf? Ew, they touch it with street. their bare hands. The real mystery is the meatloaf itself. What is it? It doesn't quite look like meat, does it? If it was meat, wouldn't they just call it meat? Where'd the loaf part come from anyway? 
This meatloaf stuff makes us here at Mystery Mysteries kind of nervous. Oh, schmiss. We did a little snooping. Hey, Mac. Tomorrow's meatloaf day. Go out and get the meat. Make sure it's fresh. Righto! Is that a possum? No, it's a squirrel. Definitely a squirrel. Read my lips. Ugh. Don't eat the meatloaf. Terrific. Hey, Don't I make think? a bomb ass meatloaf. Shut up. <laughs> I just had a meeting with the scriptwriter. He said that he wants to write an episode where I get a pet of some kind. Except we weren't sure what kind of animal would be right for me. We were hoping you could help us figure it out. Um, a pet squid. Use the join pad and the A button to select letters and unscramble the correct answer. Press B to erase and C when done. Oh. Sad. Oh. Oh, yeah. Ratings are going up for that one, and the immortal words of Jake Smith. Kaching. Right. <laughs> John, you're just glowing today. Is there a new gal in your life? Then let's just go right to this week's race. Okay. Let's roll a clip from one of those shows. TV. What you're watching right now, he's also my boss. Hi, Jake. Hi, Silva. Tell us, what made you decide to run a television station? Well, a bunch of us kids decided we could do anything if we put our minds to it. So we started finding good, clean ways of making money. We mowed lawn, sold lemonade, cookies, anything we could think of. Eventually, we raised enough money to do something real big. And we didn't like the old TV station that used to be here. So, we took it over and made it our own. I think we did a good job. Don't you? Absolutely. I'm proud of the work we've done. Is there any message you would like to send out to kids with dreams of grandeur? Yes. I'd like kids to remember they could do anything they want if they just put their minds to it. Anything. If you could dream about it, you could do it. Don't dream it, be it. <laughs> that was super. And John, I'm going to get you to talk about your love life one of these days. Oh, he's like, oh, hell no. Uh oh. Well, there's a whole bunch of cows coming in for the next shot. You may be asking yourself, why cows? I've been asking myself the same question. But anyways, the cows will be here soon. There's a whole bunch to figure out. We gotta figure out how much water we need, how much hay we need, how big a space to keep them in, etc. Uh, there's all kinds of calculations that need to be made. Since you're the math whiz, you gotta figure it out. Good luck. And you don't know anything? So solve the three problems by using the joy pad and the A button to select the correct dancers. <laughs> Too easy. How'd you do that so quick? That was hot. Or was it cool? It was hot and cool. Right. <laughs> Mary Carp here with this week's entertainment news. And what a week it was. Right, John? I can't wait to see the ratings. Here we got only four rounds left. <laughs> I do like the variety and nothing repeats itself. Like, it's that's really time. cool. I hate being 
staying grounded. I think it's time I negotiated my surrender. I gotta get outside, see the world, meet people. I gotta be free, free as a bird. Oh, say does that star spangle banner yellow. Hey there. I was driving by and I couldn't help but notice your fabulous voice. Have you ever thought about playing Vegas? Uh, I'm a big agent. I could book you in the hottest clubs. What do you say? You could be the next Inkelbert Humperdinck. Better yet, the next Elvis. We could leave right now. What do you say? Huh? Sounds great. Let me ask my mom. Hey, mom! Can I go up this guy to Vegas to be a big nightclub singer? No. Oh. Sorry, dude. I'm grounded. <laughs> I've been like, oh, hell no, you ain't going anywhere with a stranger. <laughs> Zoe, that was great. Don't you think, John? I'll tell you one thing. I'm glad I'm not the producer. You got some problems on your hands. Problems on your hands. Use the joypad and the A button to select the three instruments playing the melody. All right. I know my instruments. I'm very musically inclined. I bet Jake gives you a raise for that one. Well, he's at it. Maybe I did one of those tests to too. see what type of intelligence it's I have. Music me. is like my biggest one, so. <laughs> How about this kitty? Can I pause this? Okay, cool. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go use the bathroom.
Okay, so... I am finally back. <laughs> Stupendous! John here hasn't been able to stay away from the tube. Mm -hmm. Let's see those ratings. favors how are you love you're a snake whatever do you mean betsy skinner said she saw you and nick at the movies last night your anger seems a little misdirected parsley perhaps it's yourself you should be scolding for not keeping him on a tighter leash just watch your back angelica du jour when you least expect it i'm gonna You'll do nothing you are but a small speck of dandruff on my shoulder that i just flick away on second thought i don't have dandruff so you're just a speck of dandruff on your shoulder that you just look away. So there. <laughs> wow. Terrific. Just terrific. Well, there's a whole bunch of cows coming in for the next shot. Again? What are you asking yourself? Why cows? I've been asking myself the same question. But anyways, the cows will be here soon. There's a whole bunch to figure out. We gotta figure out how much water we need, how much hay we need, how big a space to keep them in, etc. Uh, there's all kinds of calculations that need to be made. Since you're the math whiz, we gotta figure it out. Good luck. Once again. <laughs> Use the joypad to choose a number block and the A button to rotate it. Solve all three problems and press C when done. <laughs> Equals three. So let's see, forty five. Okay. Okay, so forty five divided by nine is. Oh, shit. I pushed the wrong buttons. I don't know what the hell I was doing. Quit whining! It ain't over till it's over! Thank you! Thanks for that vote of confidence, bro! What a week! <laughs> I've become such a couch potato watching this kid TV! How about you, John? I couldn't agree more. Let's see the ratings! See, my brain has just gone to, like... Complete and total mush and complete and total shit. How about a clip from one of those shows? Missing socks. For years, people had their theories. Perhaps they were stuck to the wall of a washing machine or a dryer. Maybe you dropped one on your way to the laundromat. Or maybe. There's a little man or woman possibly related to whoever turns the light off in the refrigerator when you close the door. And maybe that person likes to mess with our minds. Maybe they're taking socks one at a time just to screw us up. Or maybe we're not losing socks at all. Maybe we're gaining new socks one at a time. Let that thought rock around in your head for a while. Right. I've been drinking this Old House Farms red goodness. This stuff is really, really tart. It's good, but it's real tart. We're doing this episode of the show when me and my family get to go on an adventure vacation to the Grand Canyon, Rocky Mountains, Mount St. Helens Volcano, and other cool places like that. Only one problem. I don't know about stuff like that. But you do, of course. So brush up on your science skills and we'll have a meeting later. All right, I'm pretty good at science. Match an animal with its proper classification by using the joy pad and the A button. Oh, that'll be easy. Choose an amphibian. Choose a bird. Choose a mammal. Choose a reptile. Choose an insect. Choose a fish. Choose a... <laughs> 
Nice. Take a break. You are me. I just took a little bit of a break, <laughs> but I may need to take another one to grab some actual water because I just drink all that. They work all hours of day and night, and let me tell you, their work is paying off. These shows are great. Let's look at the ratings. and it broadens me as a person. What about you, Nick? Why do you love it? I don't exactly love it. You said you love doing homework. No, I didn't. You weren't listening to me, as usual. I hate doing homework. I do it, but I hate it. Sheesh. Well, I think this show is getting more and more interesting. It seems like we might have to change today's topic. Listening to your boyfriend. When we return to the Sofa Sinister Show. Superlative! Uh, superlative is not what you think it is. <laughs> oh, we got this guy again. Dun dun dun. Well, I had originally called you all here to tell you about Sweep Sleep. But it seems I have some other unfortunate news to announce. Dak Jones apparently has broken in and vandalized the station, stolen property from us, and generally wreaked havoc on Kid TV. This is going to make your jobs a lot tougher in the next week. Everything you do will be worth triple the regular rating. And now you will have more problems to contend with. Thanks to Good, Dak, at least I can catch up on one points. After another but game. I fucked up just because of. You're up to it. At least I'll probably do better in these next few rounds. <laughs> well, the next few storylines are. Press the A button to stop the lights and choose your three challenges. Solve the three problems by using the joypad and the A button to select the correct answers. <laughs> You did it. Way to go! <laughs> All of the words on the screen are the same part of speech. Choose the word on the next screen that is that same part of speech. Okay. See, at least that one now I know that you had to push one of the buttons. Righteous! Select oh no, I'm gonna get to fucked on this one. Using the joypad and the A button. Press the C button when done. Raphael, Angel. Raphael was a young prodigy, famous by the time he was 21. He is noted for his ability to absorb and merge many qualities of other great artists. Righteous! <laughs> Welcome to the umpteenth annual Envy Awards show, coming to you live from the historic Dorothy Chandelier Pavilion. Now let's go to Mary Carp outside the pavilion, where she's interviewing the stars competing for the Envy Award, given to this season's highest rated show. Billy Sparks, how does it feel to be a nominee? 
Pretty cool, Mary. I'll tell you, I'm just glad to get out of that bedroom. I'm a free man for the next three hours. Woohoo! It's annoying, isn't it? It follows me everywhere I go. Uh, you get used to it. Well, Billy, thanks for talking to us. Anything you want to say to our viewers? Hey, I just want to send out my thanks to my producer. He did a great job, no matter how tonight turns out. How to what a fine group of nominees. And now to the Envy Award ceremony with your MC, Mary Carr. I know we have some very nervous stars here tonight, waiting to see if their show will win this year's coveted Envy Award. Hey, who took my coat? My mystery coat! Dun dun dun. Nice coat. We'll see what you think of old Dacky boy when he steals your little trophy. Smelly kids. Without further ado, it is my oh, no. pleasure to present this year's oh. Envy Award to... Yikes. Yeah. Give it to me, you crazy! Give it to me! What are you doing? This is mine! You lunatic! Give it to me, you big thing! Give it to me! This is mine! <laughs> Well, here we go again. My hero. Thanks, John. Now as they say in showbiz, the show must go on. I wish there was like a squeaky sound. Go. Without further ado, it is my pleasure to present this year's Envy Award to... Billy Sparks. For his show, I'm proud. I just want to thank my folks, my friends, my producer, and all my fans. Keep on sending those letters. I read them all. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was exciting, wasn't it? Congratulations to the winners, and congratulations to those that did not win <clears throat> this year. That does it for this year's Envy Awards. We will see you all next season. Excuse me. Excuse me. It's time to pick you. Use the joypad and the A button to select a show. Select a show or start game if there are no more players. Pick my show! Okay, so real quick, I'm gonna go grab some water and stuff before we start doing Sundays of our lives. So I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Please? Let's go ahead and go over to Sundays of Our Lives. There's only one show for you, and that's Sundays of Our Lives. Selected empty. Use the joy pad. Me. All right. Absorbed scriptwriter decided to just not show up today. Can you believe that? Sure, he called in sick, but I could tell he was faking. You can always tell. Anyway, he left us with an unfinished script. Would you attend to it right away? And doll, 
make my dialogue as pristine as I am. Okay. Select each word requested by using the joypad and the A button. Pick an adjective. Pick a verb. Pick an adjective. Pick a noun. Pick a verb. Pick a noun. Sure. Last week on Mysteries Sh Mysteries, the gigantic Rice Banyan climbed over a skinny banana to escape a hungry lion. The last time this happened, he grew over a tomato in order to stay alive. Tomato. Right. Good, good. Well, what do you want? A medal? Jeez, what a bitch. <laughs> Jeez, John. It sure was an I don't like calling kids bad Ellie names, but holy it. hell. <laughs> Let's look at the ratings for the week, shall we? you some advice you seem to know a lot about men you're obsessed with them i wouldn't say obsessed but i have expressed some interest in the subject nick and i broke up i'm so sorry to hear that i want to get him back what should i do absolutely nothing if he calls don't talk to him if he sends flowers throw them out or give them to me as far as he's concerned, you've left the country. It's called playing hard to get. You're not going to move in and take him for yourself, are you? Of course not. We're friends, and friends don't do that to each other. <laughs> Bullshit! <laughs> came onto the set today and stole my homework. Who has time for this? How does he keep getting past those security guards anyway? You have to help me start all over again. How about you do it yourself? The an animal was its proper classification by using the joy pad and the A button. Choose an insect. Choose a mollusk. Choose a marsupial. Choose an amphibian. Choose a fish. Choose a bird. As much as I hate to admit it, Excuse me. I couldn't have handled that better myself. For my... Sure you could. <laughs> this week was fabulous. Let's look at the ratings. so luminous but that's not all your hair is hey what's up hey what's another word for beautiful but rhymes with luminous pulchritudinous what? what yeah trust me it's a word what's it for okay okay listen betty betty your eyes are so luminous but that's not all your hair is pulchritudinous what do you think pulchritudinous who's better than me me because Pulchritudinous is going to get me to the Kenny School Fair with Betty Primrose. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, Mr. Pulchritudinous, but you're not going anywhere because your real name is Mr. Grounded for Life. Touche. <laughs> I 
like that music though. <laughs> My hairstylist has not arrived yet, and I will not go on the air like this. Talk about a bad hair day. But what are you standing around here talking to me for? You have places to go, people to meet, problems to solve. Uh. All the words on the screen are the same part of speech. Choose the word on the next screen that is that same part of speech. Again? <laughs> Fabulous! This should do wonders for our ratings, wouldn't you say? Yeah, because I'm doing all the work. Hey, you John, snobby little brat. I don't know about you, <laughs> but I just couldn't stay away from the tube this week. It was fantabulistic, don't you think? <laughs> what do you say we check out the ratings? How would you like to see a clip from one of those shows? wonder why phones seem to tangle up all by themselves? I don't sit and twist mine up. Do you? How does it happen? We planted a hidden camera in my kitchen, and the footage we got was astounding. Okay, listen. You steal some socks from the washing machine. And remember, only one from each pair. <laughs> I just we were gonna Excuse add me. socks. <laughs> Fine, add socks. I'm gonna tangle up the phone cord. What else should we do? We can short sheet the beds. They're in the beds, dope. Oh. Yeah. Woo! This new kid TV is a powerhouse, producing some top drawer entertainment. Don't you think, John? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to split this up to another part, like... <laughs> This is like a three-parter. I'm just doing like the first one and then doing like this one and then the other one. Then next week I'll do the last two because these Darling, I'm so glad you last arrived. longer than they should. The critics have been should. so unkind about my performance in the dream sequence that aired yesterday. They say had I known anything at all about science or history, I would be a better actress. You have to help me study. How about you do it yourself? Use the A, B, or C button But yeah, I didn't realize how long answer. one of these games are, so... I have no idea. I'm going to say Jane Adams. Hey, I did a good guess. Woohoo! Yes! So I took out insurance policy on my legs, just in case, you know? Hello, everyone. Boy, we came on so soon, I didn't realize. Oh, well. Let's just go right to the ratings for the week. Say, so, like I said, next. So next week we're gonna do the mystery sh mysteries and then sofa. So, because I didn't realize how long one of these games actually takes. <laughs> My bad. And as usual, we follow the ratings chart with a clip of one of those shows. <laughs> My boyfriend, Studman, keeps telling me that I'm in great shape, and it's all thanks to Galileo. So tell us, Gal, what weight loss secrets are you going to show us today? Today, we'll be using my new exercise tool, the Fanny Master, and I brought a couple for us to demo. What do I do now? Okay, that's awkward. <laughs> what the hell? already and it's fun too let's watch the 800 number for people to order this fantastic device <laughs> it gets right. lost in the mail it's not our fault <laughs> oh jesus You know what I 
think we need? I think we need a count of every single hair on Nick Blade's cute little head. It's a lot of math. And you may be wondering why we need to number Nick's hairs. Use the joypad to choose a number block and the A button to rotate it. Okay. Solve all three problems and press C when done. Okay, so... Uh. You can do better than that. Do you want to switch places? You be the star and I be the producer? Yeah. Of course that's what you want. But that's impossible. You're doing fine right where you are. <laughs> Shut up. John, you're just glowing today. Is there a new gal in your life? Then let's just go right to this week's ratings. Machine Gun Jelly. Let's just hope he brought us something good. I can do it in one whip, Ernie. Dak! It's Dak! <sighs> Hairspray and an egg salad sandwich. Hey, you got it, kid. Nice work. Yay. That's it? That's not fun. <gasps> what do you kids know? That's funny stuff. <laughs> Don't worry, kids. We're prepared for moments like these. When a celebrity guest is this lame, we must punish them. Look out! That's all of last week smells in that bucket. That was so good. I'm going to get you to talk about your love life one of these days. <laughs> My hairstylist has not arrived yet, and I will not go on the air like this. Talk about a bad hair day. But what are you standing around here talking to me for? You have places to go, people to meet, problems to solve. Solve the three problems by using the joy pad and the A button to select the correct dancers. <laughs> You big baby, it's only television. Ah, oh, I can't believe I just said that. You go ahead and cry your little eyes out. Uh, God, she's a terrible person. Like, I'm glad that it's just an act, but holy hell. I can't wait to see the ratings. I would, like, I would have quit as her producer and told her to go fuck herself. <laughs> Like, no. <laughs> you snobby bitch. <laughs> think we can be seeing each other anymore. Parsley's getting very angry with me. I hate it when she gets angry with me. Oh, Nick, Nick, Nicky boy. Why is there when a fish Parsley doesn't matter. in the coffee She's pot boiling there? On a cone. Somebody I better know. call PETA. Dish with oh, PETA. Full of artificial colors and flavors. <sighs> Zowie, that was great, don't you think, John? Classical music. 
music. That's what we need. Some sort of a symphony or an opera. I'm talking about the big scene where Nick takes me in his arms and expresses his love for me. Okay, so I know that's not in the script, but it can be. Just give it some thought. Get back to me. Meanwhile, look into our music options anyway, just to humor me. Besides, I refuse to come out of my trailer until you do. Use the join pad and the A button to select the three instruments playing the melody. Yeah. You did just fine. You were handed a tough problem and you did your best. How about that one? Angelica du jour being sympathetic. Who would ever believe it? Right? How about this kid TV? It's stupendous. John here hasn't been able to stay away from the tube. <clears throat> Let's see those ratings. Billy, maybe we shouldn't be playing so close to the house. You're such a baby. Don't sweat it, man. We'll just be careful. Now catch the ball, Wimpus. Billy? I told you, Gore. Billy! I know. Don't even say it. <laughs> I'm grounded. <laughs> terrific. Just terrific. character is a scientist in an episode we're rehearsing. She's really put a lot of effort into her role, and I hate her for it. I don't like knowing there's something Parsley is better at than I. You have to help me brush up on my science. <clears throat> Use the join pad and the A button to select letters and unscramble the correct answer. Press B to erase and C when done. <laughs> Very nice. Very, very nice. What a week! I've become such a couch potato watching this kid TV. How about you, John? I couldn't agree more. Let's see the ratings. God, usually my musical shit was better than was last time, but like I said, I'm just burnt out and exhausted. Just, I don't know. My immune system hates me. How about a clip from one of those shows? Do you ever wonder why phones seem to tangle up all by themselves? I don't sit and twist mine up. Do you? How does it happen? We planted a hidden camera in my kitchen, and the footage we got was astounding. Okay, listen. You steal some socks from the washing machine. And remember... I already watched that one. Fantastic. Oh great, we had some drop frames. My hairstyles has not arrived yet. Select two pieces to exchange using the joypad and the A button. Press the C button when done. Camille oh, here we go again. Avenue de l'Opera.
Yeah, I I didn't know. Fuck. A leading impressionist, this artist blah, helped blah, establish blah, the blah, major blah, exhibitions blah, blah. of this style. <laughs> he was a kindly father figure to many younger artists such as Gauguin and Cezanne. That wasn't fair. It was a lot to handle all at once. These producers are running themselves ragged for Kid TV. They work all hours of day and night. And let me tell you, their work is paying off. These shows are great. Let's look at the ratings. Now my favorite segment, the clip. I love these shows. If you love them so much, why don't you marry them? <laughs> keeps telling me oh we already watched that part Superlative. no <laughs> well i had originally called you all here to tell you about sweep sweep but it seems i have some other unfortunate news to announce Dak Jones apparently has broken in and blah 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 we already heard that Press the A button to stop the lights and choose your three challenges Okay Imagine mm -hmm. animal well, with its proper classification by using the thing. joypad and the A button Choose a mammal Choose an amphibian. Choose a bird. Choose a mollusk. Choose an insect. Choose a fish. You are clearly the right producer for this show. Your intellect is almost as impressive as my own. As if I'm the, always the one doing All your the fucking homework. the screen are the <laughs> same part of speech. Choose the word on the next screen that is that same part of speech. It's always letter C. Bravo. You use the joypad and the A button to select the three instruments playing the melody. <laughs> I don't know. My brain hurts. There, there. I know. Producing a television show is very difficult. You'll do better next time, I'm sure. Welcome to the umpteenth annual Envy Awards show. Coming to you live from the historic Dorothy Chandelier Pavilion. Now let's go to Mary Carp outside the pavilion where she's interviewing the stars competing for the Envy Award. Given to this season to the end's highest rated show. Darling, how are you? I've not seen you since. We've never met before. And we're celebrities, you twit. We're all supposed to pretend to know each other. Oh, nobody told me. Didn't you get the celebrity manual? Anyway, much thanks to my producer and all of the folks down at the station. Blah, blah, blah. That's all in the handbook, too. You're supposed to thank everyone. Got it. Ta-ta. What a fine group of nominees. And now to the Envy Awards ceremony with hey, your it's only an hour and 14. So yeah, I think I did I take much longer than expected, expected break tonight. than before, Wait, so well, maybe we will finish this game, I guess. Hey, who took my coat? My mystery coat. Without further ado, it is my pleasure to present this year's Envy Award to... <laughs> Angelica Dujour for her show, Sundays of Our Lives. I knew it, I knew it. I'm the best. This must mean you really like me. 
I'd like to thank all the viewers who watch the show. My parents, my dog Poopsie, and of course my producer. Danke, merci, gracias. Thank you, thank you. Uh, arigato. <laughs> Ah, wedding. shit, my Congratulations to the winners, and congratulations to those that did not win this year. That does it for this year's Envy Awards. We will see you all next season. I guess I can finish up this game. It's time... Use the joypad and the A button to select a show. Select an empty. Use the joy. All right, here we go. Sundays of our lives, or not Sundays of our lives. <laughs> yeah, mystery sh mysteries. My bad. Where are the cue cards? They're all gone. I never remember my lines. You have to help me. I know you're not a script writer, but you're going to have to be for today. Select each word requested by using the joypad and the A button. Pick a verb. Pick an adjective. Pick a verb. Pick an adjective. Pick a noun. Pick a noun. Sure. Billy's mom. Scatters down next to him. Billy, why are you such a creepy troublemaker? Billy flaunts. It was just a hot roach. A little joke. A meatloaf. In the gym shorts is the oldest trick in the book. <laughs> great, 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 great. What can I say? You're the best. Thank you, thank you. You're much better than Gee, Angelique Lachique sure or whatever the fuck that television bitch's television name television. was. <laughs> Missing socks. For years, people had their theories. Perhaps they were stuck to the wall of a washing machine or a dryer. Maybe you dropped one on your way to the laundromat. Or maybe there's a little man or woman, possibly related to whoever turns the light off in the refrigerator when you close it. Oh yeah, we already watched that the part. That was great. Don't you think, John? We need a lot of tomato juice for tomorrow's episode on why tomato juice is used to get rid of the smell of skunk. We need to figure out how much we need and how much it will cost. <laughs> There's a lot more to do before tomorrow, so you better get right on it. Aye, aye, Captain. Use the joypad to choose a number block and the A button to rotate it. Oh, more Solve math. Solve all three problems and press C when done. <laughs> Yeah, you close. can do better than that. Hey, you tried. You'll come back. See, what a nice kid. <laughs> this week was fabulous. Let's look at the ratings. <laughs> Maybe one of these games I'll do with like a nice clean sweep of everything. I couldn't agree more, John. Let's look at a clip from one of those great shows. Send in young parsley flavors. Very good, dear. Yeah. You rang your heinous. That's your heinous. <laughs> 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 
fool. Well, at least she didn't no. call her an anus. Give the girl a break. You are so hard on her. Oh, Nick. I mean, sire. Oh, Nick. Uh. Fabulous. <laughs> meeting there's some problems that need to be solved get to work I, I solve can't. the three problems by using the joypad and the a button to select the correct dancers Excuse me. ka -ching. Hey, John, I don't know about you, but I just couldn't mm. stay away from the tube this week. It was fantabulistic, don't you think? <coughs> what do you say we check out the ratings? Jeez. <laughs> Weather changing just keeps messing with me. Billy, maybe we shouldn't be playing so close to the house. You're such a baby. Don't sweat it, man. We'll just be careful. Now catch the ball, Wimpus. Oh, we already saw that one. Woo! This new kid TV is a powerhouse. Producing some top drawer entertainment. Don't you think, John? In our show, the music is really important. It creates a mood. Oh and no, I'm gonna fail this one essential. again. We need to find more music. We've been using the same stuff for weeks. Would you mind going down to the music library and checking it out? Thanks. Yeah. Use the joypad and the A button to select the three instruments playing the melody. Hey, it's that one. What the hell? <laughs> Ukalaka Tribal Victory Dance. Feel free to join in at any time. Yeah, that's not cultural so appropriation. I took out on my legs, just in case, you know? I'm just kind of skipping through all the bullshit that we keep hearing over and over again. <laughs> and as usual, we follow the ratings chart with a clip of one of those shows. Today we're joined by Jake Smith. All right, we already saw Terrific, that one. Terrific, don't you think? Somebody needs to prove the press releases that are going out. The okay. press release gives the critics updated information about our show. Could you look them over and fix any words that don't belong? Will do. All of the words on the screen are the same part of speech. Choose the word on the next screen that is that same part of speech. Wow, it wasn't the letter C this time. <laughs> that was a very respectable performance. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> John, you're just glowing today. Is there a new gal in your life? <laughs> Let's roll a clip from one of those shows. <laughs> What's 
that smell? What's that smell? Guess what time it is? It's time for the old factory daily double. This is the part of the show where the contestant gets one whiff of two different related smells. If he gets them both right, he gets a hundred extra points. Woohoo! Guess Billy Sparks, star of TV's I'm Grounded, has prepared <laughs> two delightful concoctions for our contestant. <laughs> Returning champion, Ben Slokes. This is some of the most rank, rancid, and rotten gunk I could find. I hope you puke. You kids are vile and disrespectful. I'll have you know I'm only here for the money. Billy, the jars, please. <coughs> I... Open the other one. Open the other one. You want to know what's in there? I don't even care. <laughs> that was super. And John, I'm going to get you to talk about your love life one of these days. <laughs> director quit. She just quit. She says she's not appreciated. I'll go have a talk with her. In the meantime, you have to Yeah, have a talk with her. You're actually nice. <laughs> Do the best you can. I will. <laughs> Select two pieces to exchange using the joypad and the A button. Press the C button when done. Jean Antoine Watteau, coquette. <laughs> architecture was very fancy during the Rococo period. This artist often depicted actors and people in ball dress flirting in romantic scenes. I did now love that, that dress though. Be That'd be me Phew, walking fancy crap. all in a cemetery. Hi kids, Mary Clark here with this week's entertainment news. And what a week it was. Right, John? Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see the ratings. noses when they get in their car it's not like we can't see them why do they do it oh look we just caught Dak Jones has been TV star picking his nose <laughs> I wasn't picking I had an itch isn't a guy allowed to scratch an itch anymore <laughs> Okay, fine. I did it. Is that what you want to hear? Yep. I don't think it's that gross. Well, we brought a gross meter with us, Dak. Let's just see how your pick scored. Those meters don't prove anything. They aren't even accepted in a court of law. <laughs> what? I hate you kids. <laughs> so much do all animals need water why water why not grape juice these are bona fide mysteries my friend i've said it a million times and i'll say it again research is everything on this show let's go do some okay match an animal with its proper classification by using the joypad and the a button 
Choose an arachnid. Choose a mammal. Choose an insect. Choose a fish. Choose an amphibian. Choose a mollusk. Yeah, this one has been going a lot better than the other couple that we've done. <laughs> Good idea, John. Let's see a clip. Let me go with you, Nick. I'm a nurse and I can help. Angelica, I can't let you get involved. I wouldn't want to see you get hurt. Oh, Nick, my brave little soldier. Come on, Nick. We've got to protect. Oh, yeah, I remember terrific. that from the first episode. Just terrific. Where have you been? You missed your production meeting. There's some problems Always. that need to be solved. Get to work. Use the joypad and the. A button to select letters and unscramble the correct answer. Press B to erase and C when done. Whoops. God, I was like, how do I spell hemisphere? <laughs> Nice. What a week! I've become such a couch potato watching this. How about a clip from one of those shows? I think it's time I negotiated my surrender. I gotta get outside, see the world, meet people. I gotta be free, free as a bird. Oh. Okay. Fantastic. I just found out that the government is spending millions of dollars running tests to see if cows get lonely when they get lost from the herd. Isn't that ridiculous? What a waste of money. Of course they do. Who wouldn't? Anyway, we want to conduct our own tests, so we need to fly all around the country. We'll need maps, information about different cities, states, and a bunch of other junk. Now that's where you come in. Information is your middle name. Um, you uh, no. Use the A, B, or C button to select the correct answer. Oh, that's easy. We already had this question. The one that I was gonna guess before. <laughs> great, 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 great! What can I say? You're the best. I know, right? <laughs> These producers are running themselves ragged for Kid TV. They work all hours of day and night. And let me tell you, their work is paying off. These shows are great. Let's look at the ratings. <laughs> Who can't stay off the phone? Our first guest. Oh, I remember that. Superlative. Up sweep sweep. Oh snap! <laughs> 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 what? 
What a dork. <laughs> well, I... Press the A button to stop the lights and choose your three challenges. Okay. Ah. Wow, that wasn't very good, was it? No. Select each word requested by using the joypad and the A button. Pick an adjective. Pick a noun. Pick an adjective. Pick a noun. Pick a verb. Pick a verb. Pick a verb. Oh, a verb, my bad. Ah, oh, the wonders of stardom. One day, Sofa was just a funky opossum from the scary side of the banana. Now, whenever she eats down the street, everyone descends her name. Okay, that was dumb. Be solved. Phew, I'm proud. Solve the three problems by using the joypad and the A button to select the correct answers. To s Order of operations, baby. That would be the Ukalaka tribe. Welcome to the umpteenth annual Envy Awards show, coming to you live from the historic Dorothy Chandelier Pavilion. Now let's go to Mary Carp outside the pavilion, where she's interviewing the stars competing for the Envy Award, given to this season to the end highest rated show. <laughs> what the hell? That's not really possible tonight, Bryce. Your show is a hit, and the folks at home want to see you. I hate these award shows personally. I'm only here on behalf of my producer. I get the best in town, and the least I can do is show up and get the award. So you're pretty sure you're gonna get one? I like to think positive, but if we can't, whoop you do. Awards aren't everything, are they? Of course not. What a fine group of nominees. And now to the Envy Award ceremony with your MC, Mary, with you. Without further ado, it is my pleasure to present this year's Envy Award to... Bryce Banyan for his show, Mystery Shim Mystery. Who would have thought that I would really have won? This is the happiest moment of my life. <laughs> I'd like to thank everyone who made it possible, especially my producer. We did it. Keep watching KID TV, everybody. See you next season. Your show got canceled. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> well, that was exciting, wasn't it? Congratulations to the winners, and congratulations to those that did not win this year. That does it for this year's Envy Awards. We will see you all next season. So we'll do the sofa, and then we'll be done. <laughs> It's time to pick. Use the joypad and the A button to select a show. Select an empty. Use the joypad. Pick my show. Me, me. All right. So we'll do so fun. We'll be done. This music reminds me of Short Circuit. <laughs> if you haven't seen Short Circuit. What are you Today's doing with your life? Is my language arts teacher. I'm so nervous. He always corrects my grammar. It's so annoying. Help me brush up on it. And help me look over the script to make sure there are no mistakes. Yes, ma'am. All of the words on the screen are the same part of speech. Choose the word on the next screen that is that same part of speech. Keep this up. And we might have to have you on as a guest of the show. Awesome. Uh, so it's sure stretch. was an exciting week for television, don't you think? 
Let's look at the ratings for the week, shall we? I don't know why I get such an enjoyment out of a kid's game. <laughs> and I get snarky. <laughs> oh well. Let's look at a clip from one of this week's top shows. From our schools. I remember that. That was great. From last week. Don't you or think, the week before, Sean? whatever. I want to put out an album. Every star is doing one, and I want to do one too. What do you think, kiddo? Do you've got the pipes or what? <laughs> Needs work, I know. But I want you to produce it. And I think we make a great team. Study up, study music. We'll be great. Use the joy pad and the A button to select the three instruments playing the melody. Nice job. I agree, John. This week was fabulous. Let's look at the ratings. Have you ever noticed when you don't bring your own lunch to school? Can you watch that one? Fabulous! The kids that are on tomorrow won this year's big science competition. You have to help me review my science mm. skills. Use the joy pad and the A button to select letters and unscramble the correct answer. Press B to erase and C when done. Easy peasy, monkey cheesy. I've already cleared a place on my mantle for the Envy Award. Keep it up. <laughs> hey, John, I don't know about you, but I just couldn't stay away. This music sounds like Legend of Dragoon. I just love it. Angelica, I was wondering if I could ask you some advice. You seem to know a lot about men. Woo! This new kid TV is a powerhouse, producing some top drawer entertainment. <laughs> The talk show hosts academic competitions in three days. What am I going to do? You have to help me study. I'm going crazy. Match an animal with its proper oh boy, classification by using the joy pad and the A button. Choose a marsupial. Choose a fish. Choose an insect. Choose a bird. Choose a mollusk. Choose an amphibian. Yeah, now it's getting all played out. <laughs> it's just like, okay, we get the gist of the games now. So I took out insurance. And as usual, we follow the ratings chart with a clip of one of those shows. Dun, dun, dun. 
<laughs> oh yeah, we already saw Terrific, that one. Don't you think? I want all new costumes from different periods and places in American history. It'll be fun. Let's get to work. That would be fun. Use the A, B, or C button to select the correct answer. Uh, again? We've already had this question three times already. Let's all do the happy dance, shall we? John, you're just glowing to- Let's roll a clip from one of those shows. All right. That's nail. <laughs> oh, God. What was in that jar? She passed out after one whip. Oh, I thought she was dead. You're like myself. Hey, Ernie. That was the best this week. You've got to tell us, Angie. Is it okay if I call you Angie? It most certainly is not. My name is Angelica Dujour. And Angelica oh, Dujour. Like they are T A C K Y. P U. <laughs> Sorry. A anyway, you gotta tell us what was in that jar. Leftover turkey dinner from two Thanksgivings ago. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that was super. And John, I'm going to get you to talk about I want us to track fast on <coughs> diet. I decided to be a healthier eater. But sometimes Good. I splurge and that could force us to do some multiplying, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Whatever it takes, I want to be a healthier eater. Use the joy pad to choose no, the No, this is the way I'm going to suck rotate. up. Monkey Solve fuck all three on. Problems and press C when done. Oh my god, I aced it! Woohoo! Yeah, baby, yes! I've been on a clean sweep so far through this one. I, I'm like, I gotta have one where I at least ace it, where I get 60 points it's or whatever. Today's topic is kids who like homework. We have two guests, Parsley Flavors and Nick Blade. Zowie, that was great. Don't no. <laughs> Next week's show asks the question: Have you ever looked at a painting and wondered, "I can do that"? This would be a great show, but our script has to be good, and our writers are not the first thing about art. You have to help them. Select two <laughs> pieces to exchange using the joypad and the A button. Press the C button when done. John oh, this one again. Watto, coquette. Music and architecture was very fancy during the Rococo period. This mm. artist often depicted actors and people in ball dress flirting in romantic scenes. Once in again, I want that dress. <laughs> right. Very nice. How about this kid TV?
grades at school, is there no letter E? There's an A, a B, a C, a D, and an F. Why no E? We asked a couple of teachers. Because it is just too easy to take your pencil and make an F into an E, thereby fooling one's parents into thinking one got a higher grade than one did. I use E all the time. I use it for excellent. I use E for excellent, VG for very good, G for good, and T for try again next time. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? T for try again. How about F for failure? How about F for freak? As in that woman is a freak. Right? <laughs> terrific. Just terrific. I want to subtract fat from my diet. I decided to be a healthier eater. But sometimes I splurge and I... Sometimes I... Solve the three problems by using the joypad and the A button to select the correct dancers. <laughs> Yeah, baby. What a week. I'm at the top of my game. Is it one that we've already seen? <laughs> After this, I have to edit my um, <laughs> video for well, Katie's cutscenes. Fantastic! I'm doing um, episode two for um, oh, what's it called? Tales of Graces. <laughs> Look at all the fan mail we've got today. A lot, and I have to answer all these letters. You've got to help me. But I'm too busy. Maybe you can do a form letter, you know, with the right grammar and stuff. Select each word requested by using the joypad and the A button. Pick an adjective. Pick a noun. Pick an adjective. Pick a noun. Pick a verb. Pick a verb. Sure. Ah, uh, the wonders of stardom. One day, Sofa was just a scary jukebox from the slippery side of the banana. Now, whenever she eats down the street, everyone forgets her name. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Way to go, kid. These producers are running themselves right. <laughs> Yep, all the way to the top, baby! Clean sweep all the way! Now my face. Psst! Billy! Betty, what are you doing down there? I thought I'd come over and say hi! Wow, that's great. Mm -hmm. Hey, you want to come up? There's a ladder over there. It's okay, Igor does it all the time. Okay, I'm coming up. Betty Primrose, just what do you think you're doing on that ladder? <laughs> Hi, Mr. Sparks. <sighs> Guess what, Billy? Igor does this a thousand times and never gets caught. Betty has to come over once. Once! <laughs> Super <laughs> Press the a No, I didn't want to lose one. Oh, well. <laughs> No probs. Use the A, B, or C button to select the correct answer. Oh. 
Oh, damn. I think it's Thoreau. Yes! <laughs> Keep this up, and we might have to have you on as a guest of the show. Solve the three problems Again. <laughs> the joypad and the A button to select the correct dancers. Okay, two times three is six. Fifteen plus two minus one is two. Seven minus five is two. Eight plus two plus one is eleven. Jeez, the end of this already. Welcome to the umpteenth annual Envy Awards show. Coming to you live from the historic Dorothy Chandelier Pavilion. <laughs> now let's go to Mary Carp outside the pavilion where she's interviewing the stars. Oh, the Tad, Tad you're award. hilarious. He did this, so I shirt my legs show. just in case. <laughs> Hello, Mary. Hello, Selfa Sentry. I'm so excited. I love these award shows. Thank you, you little dumb. Who are you talking to? My producer, of course. I'm just happy to be here tonight. I wish all the nominees luck tonight. Do you smell popcorn? Mmm, I love popcorn. <laughs> what a fine group of nominees. And now to the Envy Awards. Without further ado, it is my pleasure to present this year's Envy Award to... Sofa Sinfri for her show, The Sofa Sinfri Show. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm thrilled. Thank you to my stead man, my boyfriend, and especially to my brilliant producer. See you all next season. The only quick clean sweep that I've done this whole game. Well, that was Yay exciting, me! wasn't it? Congratulations to the winners, and congratulations to those that did not win this year. That does it for this year's Envy Awards. We will see you all next season. All right, so that is the end of that game. That was very interesting game to say the least. Use the joypad and the A button to select a show. Select a show or start game if there are no more players. This ain't no kid stuff. All right, so. We're solving mysteries here. This ain't no kid stuff. We're solving mysteries here. This ain't no kid. Okay, so <laughs> I just took that off of there. So then you guys that need to hear all that so next week we're gonna do um corpse killer for the 3do i think that's probably going to be the best version but um i've seen that corpse killer came out for the um for the switch like the 30th anniversary remaster or some shit like that so that would be interesting if anybody has a switch and would maybe get into that um so yeah and so like I was saying tomorrow is going to be my next video for um, my Katie's cutscenes for Tales of Graces I'm actually going to be doing those on uploads on Wednesdays now and then um, my on Thursday I was going to do a double feature but I'm also going to be doing that tomorrow night because um, I'm having a guest over on Thursday so um because it's silent films, I try not to talk over it and stuff. And it's really hard to fit two people <laughs> over in my little corner area. So, to record. So, um, but other than that, though, yeah. So, can't wait to see you guys next week. And I had a good time playing this unusually funky game, but it was fun nonetheless. So, um, if you liked what you've seen, please give me a cheeky little like. And if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. That would be dope. And as always, thank you.